Hello everybody, welcome all back to another video on the Ubit channel. Today we have some more brand new, very exciting LEGO leaks for 2022. So if you're going to enjoy the video, then I always appreciate a like and subscription as well. But with that being said, let's begin. So we have a lot to go through in today's video. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. Now, the first thing that we have is this brand new LEGO minifigure space mission uh, jigsaw puzzle that has been revealed uh, for LEGO ideas. Don't really have too much to say about that. And then next up, we have the official pictures for the boxes of the new LEGO Super Mario and Luigi's Mansion sets. So first up, we have set number 71397, the Lab and the Poltergust. Uh, this is recommended for Asia 6 and over, and it includes 179 pieces. Next up, we have set number 71399, the Entryway set. This includes 504 pieces and is recommended for ages 7 and over. I think that this one's probably my favourite one because I really like the Entryway build. I think that it looks really, really good. Out of the three, um, and also the characters that you do get in all of these sets are new and exclusive as well, uh, while most of them are. And then lastly, we have the biggest set, which is set number 71401. Um, and this is the Haunt and Seek set. It is recommended for ages 8 and over, and it includes 877 pieces. You get some really nice builds, and you also get some really cool characters in the set as well. Um, and these are really cool, as they have been taken straight from the games, which I really do appreciate LEGO doing. And then we also have the... Uh, other Lego Super Mario sets that have been revealed, these will be releasing for 2022. So here's the first set. Uh, we don't have any of the information on these sets, so I'm just going to show you the images that we have of them. Um, I do quite like this set here. This is the small £10 set. Um, instead of getting the power-up level pack, uh, you actually get this instead, which I think is pretty cool. And then we also have this set right here. I do quite like the build for the tree. Um, I think that looks quite nice. And then you get some pretty unique characters there as well. Uh, which looks quite good. And then we also have this set right here, uh, which is the biggest one out of them all. I think that this one looks really, really good. Um, it looks quite wild in the course and everything. Um, and I really do like that you do have the roller uh, coaster uh, pieces used there. So I think that's quite interesting to see how that's going to interact with Mario. And then we also have a closer look at some of the characters as well from the Mario Wave. Uh, these are all the characters that have been included in the set, so these aren't from the same F-Series or anything yet. As we don't have pictures of those, but we should be seeing them very, very soon. But overall, I think that the characters in these sets are pretty good and unique. Uh, next up, we have the brand new LEGO Disney Encanto sets that have been revealed. I don't really have too much to say about these, uh, so I'm just going to show all three um, of the sets together in one image um, but here we have all the sets built up so you get two books and then you get the castle I will say that I do quite like the color scheme and the build for the castle looks quite interesting but I personally won't be picking these up and then next up Lego did uh, post this official poster of the brand new uh, Star Wars show that's going to be streaming on Disney plus the book of Boba Fett um, and this is a recreation of that poster and this shows Boba Fett on his throne. And this is actually part of the brand new Lego Boba Fett's palace set that we will be getting based off that show, which I think is really cool. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego gift with purchase set that has been revealed. And this is just a cafe shop. Uh, you get two minifigures in the set. It comes with a few side builds, including the bike. And then you also get a stand as well with the umbrella on, which looks quite nice. And I think that the cafe itself looks pretty good. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego Monkey Kid set that has been revealed, and this is the Space Rocket. Now, this was completely unexpected. Uh, I personally did not know this was going to come out, but honestly, I really like this. I think this is an absolutely amazing set. It looks really, really good. I think that the color scheme for the rocket looks really, really good. Um, obviously, using the colors of the main Monkey Kid theme. Um, and I also think that the build as well looks really good. It's a pretty solid model, which I really do appreciate. Um, and I really like the top bit as well. And it just looks really unique. And it's not really something that LEGO usually tend to do. And then you do also get quite a lot of side builds as well with the set, uh, which is, again, quite nice. As for the price, I'm not sure about that just yet. And we also don't really know how many minifigures we get in the set either, because this is the only picture that we actually have of this set at the moment. We don't have any pictures of the box art or anything just yet. So we don't have any of that information. But overall, I think that this is a really good set. And I think that this will sell out quite well. And this is probably my second favorite Monkey Kid set. Uh, obviously, the first one being the uh, Mountain set. 
And then next up, we have the brand new LEGO Chinese New Year sets that have been officially revealed as well. Again, we don't have any of the box images or anything just yet. We only have these lifestyle images. And overall, I think these look really cool. I like this one more. I think that this one looks really, really good. Love that you get the ice skater rink there. Um, and I think that this would be a really nice Chinese New Year set to get for Christmas, mainly because all of the snow and everything. So I think that's really cool. And I think that the build just looks really, really great. And then we also have a brand new Lego Monkey King minifigure that has been leaked uh, from Lego Fulcrum. I don't know if this is going to be in the Rocket set because Lego might decide to make more uh, Monkey Kid sets. And then we also have a closer look at one of the minifigures from the Chinese New Year sets. And this is the guy in the Thai costume. And then next up, we have some new information on the brand new Lego 18 Plus set, set number 10298, the Vespa for 2022. So the description is the following, it's a mint green version without the rear view mirrors, two helmets, a flower, a bottle, a bag, and a newspaper tile are included as accessories and will be released in February. And the price will be 100 euros. And then next up we have some new information on a brand new Lego Marvel set. And this is the D2C set for 2022. And this is very disappointing, I gotta say. Um, I think that a lot of people are going to absolutely hate this set. Uh, but this is the Lego UCS Hulkbuster for 2022. Um, so it's based on the second version uh, seen in Avengers Infinity War. Um, and it's about 50 to 60 centimeters tall. There are no uh, more accessories, only a plaque and one minifigure, which is most likely Tony Stark, but it could be Bruce Banner. Um, and the retail price will be around 200 to 250 euros. And it will include about 2,500 pieces. So it is going to be around two times bigger than the other um, UCS Hulkbuster set that we got that no one liked at all. I don't know why LEGO keep making these Hulkbuster sets because, I mean, this set is going to be really oversized compared to the minifigure. And we've also already seen three Hulkbusters, um, I believe, for this year already. So I don't know why LEGO is doing this. And we could have got something better, for example, Oscorp. I think a lot of people would have loved that or an Avengers Tower, seeing that it is 10 years anniversary of the Avengers. Um, and then we also have this brand new Lego Jurassic World magazine, as well as the brand new Lego Ninjago magazine as well, uh, which reveals the new um, Nia minifigure. And then we also have another look at another Ninjago man magazine, and this is the one that comes for the week after. And you can see that we do get a scuba diver version of Kai. And then we also have this brand new Lego Explorer magazine as well, which does come with a nice little build as well in a poly bag. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego color that has actually been revealed. So this is a new color that Lego will be introducing into uh, their 2022 sets. And it is a new variant of yellow. And then next up, we have the UCS 8080 that has been leaked. Um, and here it is. Overall, I think that it's a really good looking set. Um, and I think that a lot of people are really going to love this. It's definitely way better than I expected it to be. And even the interior as well, you can fit a lot of minifigures in there, which I really do appreciate from Lego. Um, and I think that is really cool. The minifigures included are uh, five snow troopers, and then you get two pilots, General Veers, and Luke Skywalker. So altogether, you get nine minifigures in the set, which I think is a really good amount comparing it to other LEGO Star Wars sets that LEGO have made in this price range. For example, the uh, UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. And then next up, we have a brand new LEGO Star Wars 2022 minifigure that has actually been leaked. And this is thanks to Republic Studs. Um, and this is actually the new Scout Trooper minifigure that will be appearing in the Hoth Battle Pack for 2022, which is supposed to coincide with the UCS 8080. And overall, I think it looks like a really good minifigure. I think that the detailing and everything on it is really, really good. Uh, we will be getting multiple of these as well, I believe, in the Hoth Battle Pack, which is really, really cool to see. Um, and the printing on the back is also really good. And then lastly, we have the brand new uh, November a Lego store calendar that has actually been revealed. Um, and this shows all of the deals that we will be uh, getting for this month. Overall, it's okay. Nothing really too special there besides that cafe. Um, but there we go, everyone. That is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, then I always appreciate a like and subscription as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all these brand new LEGO 2022 leaks. Are you excited or not? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later and bye-bye.